Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about ND filters for the DJI FPV drone and specifically the Freewell standard day four pack of ND filters. Now, just to be clear, Freewell Gear did send me this pack of filters for free. However, that hasn't influenced my opinion on them and any info I give you is from my own use and is my own thoughts based on that usage. Now, just before we jump into this video, I just wanna say if you find it interesting, please do consider hitting the subscribe button don't forget to hit the little bell as well. That way you'll get updates on any new videos we release in the future. Now, just before we jump into taking a closer look at these new filters from Freewell, I just want to explain a little bit about why you might want ND filters in the first place. They allow you to control the amount of light entering your camera to allow you to control your shutter speed. Most drones don't have an adjustable aperture, which means the only way to control the amount of light going in is via the shutter speed. An ND filter allows you to restrict that light without affecting it, i.e. shifting its color, and allow you to get the best possible footage by keeping your shutter speed twice your frame rate because if you try to keep your shutter speed at twice your frame rate it will help reduce jello and it will give that overall cinematic look to your footage now taking a closer look at the filters themselves as i've said this is a standard day four pack from freewell gear that consists of an nd4 nd8 nd16 and nd32 this should cover most people's use cases but if you are somewhere in extremely bright conditions you might want to consider something like an nd128 or even a 256 when you open the pack from Freewell, inside you'll find the ND filters housed in a nice clear topped carry case and you'll also find a little black envelope which contains a cleaning cloth, your lifetime warranty card because all of Freewell Gear's 4K filter series have a lifetime warranty, some stickers and a little book as well. When you open the lid on the case, don't worry, your filters aren't going to fall out everywhere. They are held in place with little foam inserts inside which is a nice touch and they are very simple and easy to use. Unlike some of the other drones, these ones simply push over the lens of the camera. To fit, you simply slide the ND filter over the barrel until it bottoms out at the back, make sure it's straight, and that is it. They are fairly simple and easy to use. Once they're in place, you can then take off and begin to set your shutter speed, getting it again to that 180 degree rule, which is the twice your frame rate and then you should get the best possible footage that you can get from your drone. Now having used these filters for a few weeks I can say that they actually provide really good image quality. I've had no problems with shifting and no real issues using them at all. There are though some things you do need to be aware of when using these filters and the first is that they do actually limit the amount of movement on your gimbal. The camera on the FPV drone from DJI actually tucks into the frame as you tilt it right up. When these filters are fitted though it does restrict the amount of vertical adjustment you have available. So if you do fit the filters and find you can't tilt up as far as you could before, unfortunately that is perfectly normal behavior. Something else I did just want to mention is that whilst these filters do simply push over the lens of the camera, I have noticed that they can leave the odd mark on the camera after you've used them. Again, this is simply due to the design of having to have the filter push on, but it is something I wanted to mention. It's not particularly unusual. It is the same as what I've seen on things in the past, but I did just want to make you aware of it. Overall, these are a great set of filters and they do exactly what I expect an ND filter to do. Now, if you're interested in getting these, they cost about $49 and they're available from both Freewell Gear's website or you can get them from their Amazon store as well. Freewell also sell these filters individually and you can also get a polarizer too and I'm sure they'll be adding more sizes to the range in the future as time goes on as well. Overall, if you're looking for a set of filters for your FPV drone, these are well worth a look. Now, I will put a link to them in the description of this video as well, so you can go directly to those websites. Now, I'd just like to thank Freewell for sending these over. As I mentioned at the start, I've been using Freewell filters for close to six, seven years now, and really, I've never had a problem. And as I mentioned earlier, they do have that lifetime warranty, but it isn't something I've ever even had to claim on because I've never had a problem with them anyway. That's it for this one. Thank you for watching. I hope you find the info useful. If you're interested, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little bell next to it as well, and I'll have more content coming on the FPV drone from DJI in the near future.